There are a couple of videos on mounting a quick change tool post onto the little Chinese bench top lathes, different brands. I happen to have the, uh, the Grizzly 8 inch, it's the 0768. Been very happy with it, cleaned it up, it works fine. But I wanted to get rid of the four way tool post and I opted for the larger, it's an AXA size that fits onto the uh, lathe and allows the uh, center line. But the, uh, the difference between most of these small lathes is the top of the uh, compound. In this case, the uh, compound has a little boss that holds the head of the stud. It's a metric stud that rises up, and it's tall enough for the four-way tool post, but it's not tall enough to get over top of the, uh, the quick change. And some people have done different methods, um, you know, removing the stud, putting a larger one, putting washers. I... Uh, saw one video and I'll post it down below. The guy had a really great idea. He took a bolt, a hex bolt, cut off the threads, then drilled it and tapped it so that the uh, bolt essentially fit on top of the uh, the stud and if you turned it down far enough it would compress the uh, quick change tool post. It's a great idea. Uh, I'll pay, again I'll post the link down below. This is not my idea. The um, Char's model I got, again, the little boss at the bottom was a problem. And I didn't want to put washers or cut the boss down. So what I found in this wedge type um, tool post is that there's a threaded bushing down the center. And if I took four millimeters off the bottom of that bushing, it didn't really compromise the number of threads. It will, but not badly. And it fit uh, directly on top of the uh, compound without any washers or any uh, slop. After those, uh, the bushing was cut down, it fits very firmly. And again, I could use the uh, wrench and the bolt to tighten down the, uh, the quick change. And then there's other videos where they've taken a, uh, a large piece of metal and made a new top nut so that they don't have to use a wrench. And what I thought about doing initially was to take a... Uh, hex bolt, turn down the head of it to a cylinder, and essentially stick the cylinder into a large piece of metal, a round stock, and then drill a hole for a handle. It worked reasonably well. I wasn't unhappy with it. But the uh, difficulty with these small lays is uh, space, uh, you know, f in your face. So uh, rather than using this large piece of metal with a cylindrical uh, nut, I took a, uh, another cylindrical nut, I uh, ground off a flat on one side, put it in a vise, and then drilled it. I don't have my, lay, my mill yet, but uh, essentially what I have is a uh, round bolt. could have been a, a hex bolt, but this was rounded, drilled, and then I uh, welded it in and then used some uh, JB weld to smooth it out, painted it so it doesn't look uh, too bad or unpresentable. And then I simply uh, put a washer and uh, turn it down, and it compresses the quick change tool post. And it's a lot smaller than having a big hunk of metal there in my face. Anyway, this is simply a, uh, a show and tell. It worked for me. I, the, the fellow with this bolt idea was an excellent idea, and it's worked well for me. The difficulty, I think, with these small lathes is the compound and the cross slide are uh, light duty. And if you get chatter, it's because they're perhaps not as beefy or as much metal as a Logan. And you have to tighten the gibbs a lot further. So the quick change tool post may not be the weak link in this particular system. Anyway, again, just for someone's ideas, if they uh, bought one of these and are looking around for how to add a uh, quick change tool post.